So we're here today to check out this brand new wah pedal by Sonus called the Wahoo. It's a great sounding pedal with a ton of great features. And the first thing you notice about it is that there's a lot of parameters to tweak and it can seem a little overwhelming, but as soon as you plug it in, you realize that it sounds good pretty much right out of the box. This preset I'm using right now is just the first one that it loads up with and it, it's like a crybaby style wah and it sounds great. It has a great feel, big long sweep, really smooth, which is great for playing lead stuff. Should be really subtle and expressive with it. Another cool thing is that you can go in and tweak some of those things that a lot of people complain about, about the classic wah pedals, like that when your toe is down, it can be really ear piercingly bright. So what you do there is you go in and pick a lower high frequency. So the frequency that it's boosting when your toe is down is a lower frequency, which means it'll be more smooth. Which can be really cool. And along those same lines, let's say you want more of that high frequency. Let's say it works really well with your distortion and when you're soloing. So then you just go in and pick a higher high frequency. And the same way you can tweak the low frequencies and you can adjust the cue and all kinds of cool stuff, but it's important to remember that you don't really need to do anything with this pedal because it sounds good right out of the box. And that's something I personally appreciate a lot. Another cool thing you could do here is go in and adjust the amount of drive that's built into the tone. And it's worth mentioning here that this pedal is all analog but digitally controlled, which means you get the super convenient layout from the digital side of things, but with a cool analog tone. And you can really hear that in the drive, because when we crank that up, it's really cool and bluesy sounding, right? So as you can see, there are a million things you can tweak if you want to, but you can also just leave it as it is and it's going to sound great. And even if that takes you a little time to tweak and get it just right, it still beats going to the music store seven times to find the right wah pedal or going to the post office and shipping stuff back and forth. And if you do session work or you play in a lot of different situations, you also don't have to carry around four different filter pedals. You can just program this with up to 100 presets and just have all the sounds you need right here in this one pedal. And so that's just the wah side of it. It can also do all these other crazy sounds. And for all of those, I recommend that you just go through the ones they recommend in the manual and tweak them if you want to, or just use them as they are. This is a phaser sound, for example. And with your foot, you can control the, the speed of the cycles from really slow to faster. And then you can go in and tweak those as well and adjust the high frequencies or the low frequencies or whatever you feel like tweaking. The next one is number 50, which is sort of an arpeggiator sounding. And again, you adjust the speed with your foot here, really slow to really fast. Get some super cool sounds out of that as well. One of my favorites is number 61, which has this cool almost like a beat to it. If you just hit a low E string, you can hear it there. Again, we can use, increase the tempo with our pedal. So all in all, this is a great pedal, great features, great sounds, and it's a ton of fun to play around with. 